Vita Carnage Season 2 just dropped with a new episode called New Beginnings. And if you guys remember a few months ago, we actually watched the entire first season of Vita Carnage in one video. So be sure to watch that first so you don't miss out on any details or secrets that we discovered. But now we're gonna take a look at the first episode of Season 2 and see if the wait was worth it. As always, the creator of Vita Carnage is linked in the description below, so be sure to check them out. And if you want to see more Vita Carnage on this channel, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Here we have it. Vita Carnage New Beginnings. Now, I haven't actually seen anything from this video so far, so we're just gonna go straight into it. Full screen, full HD, and we're ready. Warning, this video talks about and shows imagery of graphics, content like flashing, gore, violence, death, viewers. Oh, interesting. So they're actually giving us warnings now in the start of it? So the last thing- Oh! Today, something has happened within the restricted zone, where a large group of cultists have been apprehended. Several teams of military personnel- Military veteran Simon v Vanguard? Isn't that like the anti-cheat? Found to be head of the secret organization, Simon was arrested during the raid on the mall where the man found leading high-risk ranking cult members in a naturalistic sacrifice. Custody of Simon was transferred over to the police by cars, by carcass, yeah, where he will face trial for his crimes. I remember the last episode that we saw was actually where they infiltrated the mall where these giant figures were. They, they ran into the mall and then they found the cult and then that's where like season one ended. Several teams of military personnel have arrested some high-ranking cultists and have unmasked their identities to the public. Shockingly, several of these members are well-renowned politicians and high-ranking members- It's always politicians. It's always politicians that does me- Epstein Island? Honestly, it's always politicians and like high-profile celebrities that does like weird shit. Of the atrocities that were being committed. Some of these crimes include- Murder, kidnapping, torture. Kidnapping. Simon Vanguard. And the, list goes on. the members are found guilty of deliberately providing false information to the public in an attempt to cause harm. The new trier company has been found to have very significant ties with cold The Company has a dark secret. Has yeah, that was the the, the, the flavors, the flavors they would put on products, right? Cultivation farms are facing pressure to shut down. Public unrest grows as the new trier cult case. Mimic left unchecked. More crimes that were hidden away to life. The people are outraged by how little was actually being done. They demand that something be done to handle the crisis. Still on the riots run? The streets, Fires out of control as riots murder. continue? Secret world order. What is going on? Yeah, this was the last thing that we saw. The last thing we saw was this orb before the first season cut. I'm the Magister. Yo, hey, Magister. To explore all of the world's wonders. Are we gonna talk about more? Wait, there, what was there a secret right there? All of the world's wonders. There is, there's an entity. Let me show you guys. There is literally Sonic. Sonic is on my screen, hidden in the lower right side of the video. Sonic is right there. Today we are learning about the circle of life. Ah, oh, this right to that. Oh! That reminds me of that one episode from, like, uh, Adventure Time, where it's, like, Circle of Life. Dr. Marshall Trant, Director of Carcass, Progress Report, Virum, what was it, Virum? Virum Carnus. I don't remember what Virum Carnus was. Test report number four. We still know very little about the nature of the entities. There are seven singularities in total. Each singularity is roughly one meter in diameter. They are made of an unknown material. Although it looks and feels very similar to glass. What's inside of it, though? It in What's inside of it, yeah? Damage. The material is very dark in color, but has red shimmers of light swirling inside. There are some hints of other colors present, but it's mostly, but it's mostly red. red. Isn't it just like Each reversal technique? covers above the ground and a stationary position. Although they can be moved with relative ease. They all just Our hover. can detect some subtle pulses of energy in rhythmic but random patterns. Interesting. They're giving off a frequency as well. They're making some sort of noise. What if they're trying to communicate with each other, right? If they give off some sort of frequency, maybe they try to like warn them or like if it's some sort of like signal.
It's laughing. It's literally laughing at us. We don't know what they are. We don't know if it is breathing or communicating. We don't even truly know if they are even organic. This is nothing new. Just confirming what we already know. Yeah. Our first experiments didn't give any interesting leads. The most we oh my god, dude! With electronics, especially when there is more than one kept close together. But the experiment we conducted showed extremely significant results. The experiment played out like this. In test chamber one, a live cow was released into the chamber with B1 for an extended period. B1, is that going to be the, the, the they thing? They were together for 24 hours. The test showed minimal results from the entity and an increase in stress from the cow. Yeah. Next, the body of a cow was put into the chamber with B1 for 24 hours. The results were extraordinary. So you can grow matter, right? You grow matter. That's, that's, it's kind of like a catalyst, basically. <gasps> so it grows tendrils. It basically turns them into like, um, what was it? The roots, the roots that you can Five eat, right? Hours after the whole body had been ingested, concentrations of crawl rapidly. Crawl, yeah. Several points from within the chamber. What this could mean, it rewrites everything we knew about the Vita Carnis species. So wait, so it's so this round sphere here is basically transforming organic matter into crawl. But if that means that this bowl turns organic matter into crawl that we have been eating human beings, we have eaten like animals and beings and insects and everything. Because crawl, as far as I remember, was the one thing that they would turn into food, right? The 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 taste the taste thingy, right? You could eat crawl by putting like the taste thingy on it, so it would taste better. Because crawl tasted like garbage. So they're basically telling us right now that crawl comes for from organic matter, animals, and human beings. Five hours after the whole body had been ingested, concentrations of crawl rapidly grew from several points from within the chamber. What this could mean, it rewrites everything we knew about the Vita Carnis species. A young larva hatches from within its egg. It will roam around and find food to help it grow and grow. Once they are big enough, they transform into a pupa. And after some more time, they transform into an adult beetle. The adult beetle will go out into the world in search of food. In search of what? Crawl, crawl specialist, head cultist, and then you have Skander, Skander Carvis? What is Skander Carnis? Audio log. Progress report for crawl samples. Cultivation has been successful. So far, we grew them with three specific environmental factors. One is our control group, two with access to additional nutrition sources, and three with exposure to radio signals. Oh my god. Group oh one my. grew on par with standard crawl samples. No distinct abnormalities. Group two? Group two grew at a faster pace than the control group. Yeah, because expected. you have nutrients, right? No distinct abnormalities. Yeah, yeah, because you have like a food source right there, yeah. That makes sense. Group three grew against its normal pattern, weaving its way toward the radio. Once the device was claimed, it switched to usual growth patterns. Interesting. Again, no distinct abnormalities. But it seems like you got way more crawl out of in this one where it goes for the radio. The samples that were grown in V1's test chamber don't seem to differ from others grown from other sources. Still, we will continue with more factors and further groups just in case. There have been some developments in the propagation group. 
B1 samples have seemingly been able to produce nodules at a slightly quicker rate than wild samples. Right, those are the, the small things that they keep us animals, right? Samples begin node development a few days faster. More yeah. time will be needed to say for sure. As for the nodes themselves, there aren't any distinct abnormalities. We've successfully hatched a dozen Carnish juveniles, several trimmings, trimmings, two yeah. snakes, and even one mimic. We will be sending them to the enclosures after everyone's reports get sent out. End lock. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then is ground into a fine mint and is now ready for the guard. Yeah, that's like the problem because they eat trimmings, right? Trimming specialist, Dr. Fawn Penitro? Audio log. Progress report for trimming colony. Significant progress in learning the social patterns of a group of trimmings we have been keeping together. A new batch of juveniles were added to the main colony at the beginning of the new progress report. They were accepted into the community immediately. No conflict or rejection of Nice. They did provide the circumstances to document more of their interactions. Oh trimmings communicate God. through a series of vocal cues. Colony members meeting the new batch with squeaks and squeals. They also are not afraid to show us when they are upset. God. Trimmings also use some physical displays as well. How, how For so? Example, how so? Trimmings do a chewing or chatter motion with their mouths when they are happy or interested in something. The experiment that we performed was to explore the extent of their communication skills. The test went like this. We took one of the trimmings and had them in place in a modified enclosure. A speaker would play two separate audio cues. A positive cue would play, followed by a treat. And a negative cue, followed by a small spray of cold water. Okay. So you're like conditioning it. several rounds of both audio cues to condition the trimming's response. Yeah. So it knows now. It bas yeah, so it has been conditioned. But what's their ultimate goal like? Oh my god! Jesus Christ, dude! It seems like they're actually being hurt. Are they actually being hurt by that? After the test, the trimming was released back to its colony. And after a few hours, we tested how much the trimmings communicated. Another speaker was placed near the colony's enclosure, where we played the same audio cues. Oh! It is incredible. So they know. See how layered their social interactions can be. So they can actually communicate and tell each other like what they learn and what they know. We tried something a bit bizarre. We found out that a wild colony had settled around the facility recently. It, it was strange. It was strange. What we did. It was a long shot. We set up a radio device near the wild colony and near ours. So you tried to like make them communicate with each other. We linked both devices up and played the cues. Wait, so even even trimmings that they had never communicated with before knows the, the good and the bad conditionings, right? You say that you linked up um you linked up a radio so you could like play the cues outside so that means that the interactions or like the hive mind it could be a hive mind right played the cues it must be some sort of hive connected minds yeah, exactly there's many dangers out there in the world there are many predators that would love to have beetles for a snack and unfortunately not all beetles make it Yes, it is sad, but that's how the circle of life works. But look, 
one of the beetles has laid eggs. And once the beetles' eggs hatch... And then the circle of life continues again, again yeah. Life continues on. <laughs> Is that it? Dude, I want more already. The the fact that they basically tell you that crawl can literally be like carcasses, like like remains of animals and human beings is so interesting. Because then like all of the episodes we have seen regarding uh, eating trimmings as a snack or as a meal or just anything like that is actually insane. Do they have anything else? Do they have like anything on their profile? Anything like to end it off? Oh yes. And this fella soon have we been visited by a little mimic in here. I should definitely get him to my collection. I want to get myself a little mimic. The most unrealistic part of the video is that politicians were actually arrested. Yeah, you're actually kind of right about that, to be honest. So what we have learned is they only have... It is possible, it, it's a possibility singularities are like markers from dead space. They transform the dead into growth that eventually spawns various monsters. In my honest opinion, the last step in the Karnas cycle is giving birth to a new singularity. That's interesting. Three important things to take away from here. The trimmings are red. One of the trimmings learns something and secretly shared this knowledge with its comrades. The trimming among... Others is being kept in a research facility. I wonder where, where I wonder where it's gonna go from here if they just keep on experimenting on it, or if like we're gonna be introduced to like more species. But this is this is a very good start. This is a really interesting start. What I want to know from you guys is actually, do you want me to watch these videos as they come out one by one, or do you want to wait until season two is completed and we do like an entire video? We could also do a lanky box in the end when the entire season is out and basically make a compilation of all the videos together. But if you guys want to watch them together as they come out, put that down in the comments. Or if you want like one entire long video, always let me know. I feel like this is gonna be a very good season. I'm interested in seeing what is gonna happen when we get like into another episode i don't know when the next episode is gonna be but this is good this is really good if you enjoyed this if you enjoyed this please leave a like subscribe check out darian yes check out darian watch some of their videos and with that said thank you all for watching and i will head out <laughs>